Welcome everybody to my channel. Okay, today we've got a special package. Uh, quick unboxing from Spark Concepts. Um, this is going to be a great addition to my long mail. Um, currently right now on my long mail I'm using just regular uh, CNC shield. This is going to be a major upgrade for it. Uh, go ahead and open up and take a look and see what's inside. If I can open it, I need a new blade. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and uh, look at that. You gave me a free gift. Nice. Voice for it there. Awesome. Well, that was sure nice of them to uh, give me a touch pro. Uh, it's awesome. And just a plain white box here, but when we open up the box, there's some plastic connectors, USB adapter. Some of this cool expanded cut paper. Get it out of the box here. And there we have it. CNC X Pro 5. Make sure you're in shot there. Yeah. So this is a Gerbil. Uh, controller. Uh, it's 32-bit. Uses Trinamic drivers. Built-in relay. Uh, tool head for using like a VFW or VFD. Um, it has a 485B VFD control. You can run uh, outputs to a cooler. Here's your 24 volt input. Uh, E-stop. So I guess emergency button or if you want to put it on the doors. Uh, switch to change it from either the 10 volt or PWM or the RS-485. Uh, button down here to program it and USB-C. Uh, I'm glad to see that companies like this are using the newer standards. SD card. This does have the ability to allow you to, to cut right from the SD card. It's got a built-in web interface, kind of like the Duet. Uh, model of controllers. That's the reason why I like this because I'm a real big fan of the Duet uh, 3D printer controllers. Uh, oh, the Duet you can do CNC and laser. Um, I just there's not much of an interface with the Duets and all that. Um, I like Gerbil. It's just a little bit more straightforward for CNC cutting. Uh, East, East, Looks like a power button, and there's a reset in there. Or that's the reset, that's the power button. Um, LED lights to alert you about things. Uh, let you know when your spindle's on, mist is on. Uh, your probe. Um, and two end stops right there. Um, it says diagnostic zero X. Y, Z, and A. I'm not sure what that's quite yet used for. Uh, motor control, so there's your Z. Your second Y, or if you run just a single Y uh, axis motor, you can run a fourth axis with this, Y, X, and then your limits. So uh, those right there. Nice looking box. Um, I, I think this is probably one of the best built I've seen. Let's open up, take a quick look inside. Now, uh, my VFD utilizes the 0 to 10 volt for my 1.5 horse spindle. 
the inside here is a potentiometer. Possibly if we can find it here. Yeah, right there. That's to adjust your 10 volts. So that way you get the full max. You actually get the actual 10 volts you need based off your power supply. Uh, beautiful little board. Very well done. Nice heat sink. Uh, it's fused. Uh, nice relay right there. Um, let's see, what's that down there? This jumper is for... I can see mist. It's hard to see. It's so close. Let me do this. Let me get a loop real quick. Relay SPEN. So that's probably for the actual relay itself. Uh, what I'm going to do with the relay is I'm going to turn on a um, solid state relay for uh, vacuum control. Um, It'll probably have vacuum, it'll, it'll go to a power supply, it'll have vacuum and uh, probably my air pump. So you can adjust your voltage out uh, from 5 volt to 24 volt. Uh, got your E stop. Okay, so if you don't have anything, you want this switch, but if you do have an e-stop in, then you'll want to move it over to that, so that way it's functional. Uh, diagnostic, those must be diagnostic pins. So, the only thing it looks like that I'm going to need to do is that I have the capability. Um, I believe, I'll have to look, I should have somewhere here another 24 volt power supply. Can't remember if that's what's on my spindle now. It might be, or on my long mill, might be. But uh, we'll have to take a look. But man, that is an awesome looking board. So there we have it, people. First look at the uh, CNC Pro. X Pro 5. Um, I can tell you, I uh, was looking at getting the, the Pro 4 uh, before they quit making them. Only for the fact is that they do. Oops, I got the wheel on wrong. Only because they have the capability to use external drivers, because that's what I'm using right now on my long mill, are external drivers, because your standard A490. Eight or uh, 82, 8825 for the Lulu CNC shield aren't you don't have enough power to drive uh, heavy stuff with NEMA 23s. Um, so I'm using uh, external steppers for that. That being said. Um, this board has got really good trinamic drivers that I believe can handle up to 6 amps. I only need like 3 or 4. So this should be more than plenty. Um, so it looks like here, let's see, we, we've got uh, Avalon Tech, Spark Concept, so it must be somewhat of a collaboration there. Uh, it's got trinamic drivers. It does have... Uh, Wi-Fi, I believe, built in, or Bluetooth, one of the two. Uh, USB-C. 
Um, yeah, looking in here, looks like it's a two board layout. So you have a board up here and a board down there. So I would imagine uh, on the bottom side of that top board, yeah, the bottom side of the top board is where all the trinamic drivers were, and then uh, other GPIO, GPIO inputs on that side. Well, that is just flipping awesome. Look at that. I love these type of connectors. It just makes it so much easier to get disconnected. You can do so. Um, you know, if you wanted to run multiple machines, just have one controller. You could do it with this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to, uh, to get it installed. Uh, more videos on that coming up. Uh, all you guys got to do is like, subscribe. Uh, hit that little bell notification. You'll get a, uh, a reminder when videos are made. Let's take a look at the sensor real quick here. So now this is just a Z-height probe. So you're still going to have to do your offset for your X, Y, and Z. Which if you're doing wood... This is pretty much all you need. Um, if you're cutting, you know, an actual like metal, it's nicer to be able to, to touch off the metal. But uh, yeah, this was very nice of them to send that. I really appreciate it. And uh, hey, like I said, like, subscribe. Um, I do have Patreon. Head on over there if you want to subscribe to that. You don't have to. I don't do this for the money. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot, everybody. I uh, hope that stayed in shot, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.